How's it going everyone? Caleb here with Layton Gaming. This time for Michael M. We've got two Fusion Strike boosters. Best of luck here. Let's see how we do for you, Michael. We haven't even had to turn to the uh, the hit stack too many times tonight because we've had a lot of good boxes. So that's nice. I haven't had to turn to it too many times. Uh, there's the empty one. Good luck, man. First one here. Uh, Copperaja and a Cinderace V. There you go. First hit out of the break. All right, low punny. Yeah, guys, remember all cards ship on release weekend. Even if your order uh, is not ripped tonight or not ripped on Monday even, if it's ripped Wednesday or something like that. Excuse me, if it's ripped like Wednesday or something like that, um, it will still be all cards ship. Ooh, Chandelier V. Full art, it's not bad. Another new one to check out. Nice. Full art chandelier V. There you go. Just a couple of packs and we already got a couple of hits for you. That's nice. Let's see if we can keep it going here. And the code. All right, guys. So if you guys are enjoying the stream today, if you're enjoying Fusion Strike Man, leave a thumbs up on the stream, guys. It really does help us out a lot. Uh, continue to grow the channel here. Toxtricity Hollow, there you go. Another hit somehow. <laughs> nice start, man. It really does help, guys. So I would appreciate it if you leave a thumbs up over on the YouTube side. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. That helps us grow the channel, man. So thank you, guys. If you are enjoying today, uh, do consider doing that for us. I would appreciate it. Latios. And the Simapore. It's been a fun day, man. We had NT Baseball release day as well. National Treasures Baseball, our release day over on the Layton Sports Cards channel. And of course, Fusion Strike release over here on gaming. Pangoro and uh, Maletta. And then we got MetaZoo in stock still, of course, guys. Um, Burst of Destiny, the new Yu-Gi-Oh! stock. We've got that in stock for you guys. Um, and then um, Flesh and Blood, Tales of Aria, Unlimited. Um, Welcome to Wraith Unlimited. Ructus, Cloister, and... Uh, what is the other set? Uh, Monarch Unlimited as well. All in stock for you guys. So do keep that in mind. Uh, the Reverse is Rude and Exceligor. Code card. So much uh, for personals, so much for group breaks right now. Lots of new group breaks that are up and listed. Togedemaru and Dragapult Hollow. Um, there's a couple of breaks that are just a Fusion Strike booster box, and then there are some breaks that are going to be a Fusion Strike booster box with an Evolving Skies booster box, or a Fusion Strike booster box with a Celebration ZTB. So a couple of different styles of breaks, guys. Check out the one you're interested in. Um, grab your spots up for tomorrow now uh, for the Fusion Strike release breaks. Pretty, pretty fun stuff, man. All cards ship on release weekend, guys. Uh, we got the Toto Dial, and there you go, Hollow Butterfree. Not bad, Hollow Butterfree. And code. That's kind of concerning. I just had a PayPal notification that said you paid and then it was like the amount or whatever. Low Punny and Vikavolt. So it's kind of concerned because obviously I'm streaming right now, so certainly not making any purchases on PayPal or anything like that. Um, but it was just the the two dollars and nine cents for being a YouTube member on the Layton Sports Card channel. So just my reoccurring payments. <laughs> so I guess I can afford that. Toxtricity or a choreo. Who did you have, Ryan? Did you do random team style or are you going PYT? Yeah, so hopefully, man, we can get you some nice full hollows out of MetaZoo. You said it was your first MetaZoo, right, Ryan? Uh, Bolt on V. There you go. Not bad, Michael. I think that's what I remember you saying. It was your first MetaZoo. Hey, what's up, Joshua? How you doing tonight, man? 
How you doing tonight? Alrighty, got the Chansey and the Palo Sand. Yeah, Joshua, we're probably up to like eight hours or something now, honestly. <laughs> we were pretty much full right when I went live. Announced that six hour queue and said there was only a little bit of space left and then three more hours of stuff came right in. So yeah, man, thank you, Joshua, though. I really do appreciate it, man, the kind words there. And yeah, awesome to see such uh, great support here on the release day of Fusion Strike. And we have been hitting the big hits, man. We've been hitting the big ones. Jeez, that's actually crazy that you didn't get anything of Miami, Ryan. That's actually crazy. Arquanid and a Hollow Landorus. That's unbelievable. I would have been pretty excited to get Miami in a random. I think Josh would would agree with you. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's crazy. There we go. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that's awesome, Joshua. All right, as you Meryl. Manda Buzz. That's awesome, Joshua. I love that. Ooh, nice, Ryan. That'll be awesome, though, man. Get to chase after the PC team now. I know that's what I mean, Randall. That's why I'm surprised. I'm Maractus. Alrighty, second half of the box, man. Oh, certainly, Flip. Yeah, it's definitely a gamble. And sometimes you can have a really, really low floor, but sometimes you can have a massive ceiling, of course. Phalanx and Azumarill. Whereas with gaming styles of breaks, you usually have a little bit higher of a floor. And then a little bit lower of a ceiling. <clears throat> oh yeah, certainly Lewis, yep. Oh, reverse is Power Tablet. And Chandelier V, not bad. See, the cool thing is about gaming as well is sometimes when you get like this lower tier here, it's like this card here, Chandelier. Um, it's definitely like a lower tier, but some people might still really enjoy the look of the card and stuff like that. Whereas if you get one of those like super low tier rookies out of like a sports product, you know, you get like a James Morgan patch auto to 10. And it just, it doesn't feel the same as getting like something that can still make you smile, you know, out of like a gaming style of break. Nice, Ross. Congrats, that's awesome. That's a big hit, man. Uh, spongy Gloves and Zera Aura. Even out of 10 blisters, Ross, that's still a huge hit. You doubled up pretty much out of the 10. You pretty much doubled up. So that's awesome, man, congrats. Oh, certainly, Ryan, that's what I mean. It just kind of comes and goes, certainly. Um, Meowth Reverse and a Hollow Grimmsnarl. Like I said, probably a little lower of a floor, but then way higher ceiling. So that's just kind of how it goes with uh, the differences between the two styles of breaks, gaming and sports. Whereas gaming, you definitely got a little bit higher of a, a floor and stuff like that. The reverse is uh, Voltorb, Gudra, or Gudra, not sure which one it is. I bet, Joshua, honestly, I bet. Chisholm is gonna be pretty decent, man, for sure. He also has like a nice, uh, like, charisma, swag, or whatever you wanna say. Uh, for Alligator Hollow, that always helps people sell and stuff like that. But yeah, I could see them, uh, his card's definitely going up a little bit. Yeah, some of those are pretty sick there, Ryan. <laughs> some of those are pretty sick there, man. Dragmatics. First Lapras, White Vettel, and of course John Morant is still that dude. Alright man, let's keep it going here. Two booster boxes for you, Michael. Time to find out what trainer we got. Dancer again, not too bad. Alert Trainer Dancer. Awesome. There you go. Not too bad, Michael. Sleep for that one. Solid. White whale printing plate. And the code. Nice, Lewis. Those, um, yeah, those, uh, division style breaks, Lewis, those can be very, very fun, man. Sometimes there's just a, a division or two that 
by the end of the case, they can just be crushing it. Because, of course, you do get a couple of teams then. Yeah, so those are very, very fun. Yeah, Meltan and Hollow Deoxys. I love watching those. See how each division does and stuff. Not too bad, Ross. Not too bad at all. Certainly not bad, man. Um, that full art trainer, um, Elisa Sparkle, is pretty, pretty good. Arcanine and Dreadnought. And there's the code. Yeah, I saw that one was tonight, Joshua. That one sold out quick. Or maybe that was last night. I don't remember when it was. I think it... No, it's tonight. Yeah, it's tonight. That one sold out really, really quick, I think. Uh, reverse Smeargle and Luxray. There's the code. Yeah, that's what I mean, Lewis. Sometimes it'll just, it'll happen like that with those cases. Um, and then with random divisions, you can really, really hit it big. There's the Butterfree. Ooh, nice, the Gengar VMAX again. Not bad. Not alt art, but still very sick card here. <laughs> Gengar VMAX. Nice, there you go, Michael. Michael M, man, appreciate it. There you go, awesome card there. Not the alt, but so, so cool still. Still looking for a secret rare. Uh, reverse this Onyx. Clado. Yeah, we've seen a couple. We've seen a couple Ross, but they're tough, man. The Gengars and the Mews are they're tough. Certainly. Yeah, it's sick, Joshua. That's just the VMAX as well. The alternate art is very similar looking, but um, a lot more details to it. There's like Pokemon flying all around him and stuff. It, it's crazy looking. Ooh, ooh, this is one of my favorites. Yes! Full Art Boltund V. Let's go. One of my favorites in the set. Sick colors on him. And like I said, it just reminds me of something that uh, <laughs> my dog would do. It also looks kind of similar to my dog, minus the coloring. If it was all white, this would look very, very much like my dog. <laughs> Size and everything. So there you go. Nice, man. That's a sick one. This is one of my favorite full arts. Bolt on V. Awesome, Michael. Hope you like that one. Very cool card. Beautiful colors. A uh, few to go in the box still. Uh, no secret rare yet. So let's see if we got one here at the end. Reverse Quillfish. Galarian Obstagoon Hollow. All right, there's the Frost Maw. Got three more packs in this booster, one more booster then. Uh, gonna be the Genesect V, not too bad. Expensive V card right now. There you go. Drew Holiday banking a, or bricking another three, I should say. He has not been too good so far this year, Drew Holiday. Elisa Sparkle. Does seem like they're pretty tough to come by, Ross. You're right, though. You're right. Uh, reverse Meloetta Palosand. The code. Alrighty, last one. Let's see if we got the secret rare in this pack. Good luck, man. Uh, reverse is Cloister and Cloister rare and reverse hollow. And code. Alright, no alternate art there. Let's toss you a bonus hit. No alternate art definitely means it's time for a bonus hit. So there you go. Let's see what we got. Going to be Breloom V. There you go. Breloom V. Bonus hit. So that'll be coming your way, Michael. Uh, let me move some of these cards quick from that first booster. Move right into the second one then, man. All right, cool. Best of luck on booster box number two, Michael. Appreciate the order. Let's see how we do. Um, no, have not, Ryan. Or Espeon, you mean, Ryan? Espeon, you mean? But no, we have not seen the Espeon. Or maybe you're talking about the Evolving Skies set. But I think you're probably talking about Espeon. No, that's one that we have not seen yet. No. Nope. Graveler and Inteleon VMAX. Nice pull. Not bad at all on the Inteleon VMAX. Congrats, Michael. 
Yeah, Espeon, nope, we have not seen yet, Ryan. Not yet. I think we're at six or seven different alt arts though now, which is pretty good, I feel like, so far. <laughs> it's nice to see so many unique ones. So, so far, Ross, we have Inteleon VMAX alt art, the Mew VMAX alt art, um, Sanaconda, um, Genesect. Oh, Ooh, Rainbow Trainer Dancer. Not bad. There you go. Rainbow Trainer going to be Dancer. Congrats, Michael. There's a secret rare. Um, and then what else? What else? What else? We had Celebi a couple of times. I think there's one I'm forgetting right now. Not bad. I'm the Rainbow Trainer. There you go. I think I'm forgetting one more. Um, but yeah, we've hit, I think, six or seven different ones. I think I'm forgetting one, though, right now. But all those ones I said so far. Uh, Sligu, Gorbis. So a very, very good start. And like I said, we've only pulled one repeat, so we've seen a lot of unique ones. Yep, that's the one, Ross. <laughs> that's the one. You nailed it. Greedent. Correct. Bingo. Ah, uh, Cinderace V. Go. That is the one. I know it's it's a weird situation with that, Ryan. And a lot of people thought that it wasn't even gonna be in Fusion Strike, actually. A lot of people thought that they were just gonna put it in a collection box or something. A lot of people were thinking it might not even be in Fusion Strike, yeah. But it is in Fusion Strike. Vulpix and uh leave me chili next one uh, Muna reverse metal metal hollow there you go Michael uh, reverse is going to be Voltorb golem as well Code. Heard about that, Ross. Yeah, that's pretty common. We were talking about that earlier in the stream. So yeah, if you guys aren't aware, um, it's pretty common that GameStop will put up their pre-orders for the next set on the day that the current set is releasing. So I would expect on Brilliant Stars release day for that um, next set to be um, available for pre-order that day then uh, with GameStop. Ah, Greninja V. There you go, not bad, Greninja. Um, pretty tough to get though, lots of people are starting to become aware of that and stuff. Pretty, pretty tough to, to actually get it still, but it is nice to know. Certainly, Joshua, me and my friends are still playing GTA 5. <laughs> We're still playing GTA 5 minigames and stuff like that all the time, Joshua. But a new storyline will be nice. Shauna Cloyster. Or like, kind of like redefined storyline. Uh, what do we have while you're gone? No alt arts while you're gone, I'm pretty sure, Matt. No alt arts while you were gone. We had a Rainbow Dancer card. Rainbow Dancer Trainer. But yeah, no alts. Uh, Leaveny. We had another Bolt on Full Art, which is one of my favorite cards. Yeah, man, me and my friends honestly are always still playing... Ooh, love this card so much, man. The Golden Leaf Energy. Awesome, Michael. There you go, man. This looks so sick with the green and gold. There you go, man. Congrats, Michael. Hey, sounds good, Matt. Thanks for tuning in, man. Yeah, we'll see you. We'll be back again tomorrow, uh, Sunday and Monday. So we'll see you, I'm sure, around, Matt. Have a good night, man. That's so nice there. The green and gold of the Golden Leaf Energy. Congrats, nice secret rare. That's two in this box now, very nice. Congrats, Michael. Nice, Ross, that would be sick. That would be sick. I've been picking up some um, unique water energies for my deck, for the deck I play. I'm trying to have like, um, cause I usually have like 12 to 15 energy cards. I'm trying to have like 12 to 15 different energy water cards. So I'm gonna get a golden water card. Um, I've been finding like a bunch of like vintage cards and stuff like that. 
um, reverse hollow waters. But I'm trying to have a bunch of different ones. I think that'd be cool. Star you and Vikavolt. And if you find like a water card from like 2007 or something like that, it looks way different than the water cards now. I mean, it's it's similar, but it's different. So that's that's what I'm working on right now. I'm trying to find a bunch of different water cards. So of course, one's gonna be the gold. Ooh, we got the greed in VMAX. Very nice. Super playable card here. Greed into VMAX. Nice. Yeah, I would like to see that um, golden fire energy still tonight, Ross. That's in this set. Um, we've seen the golden uh, lightning energy there a couple of times. That one is sick as well. So, so cool. Let me open some sleeves quick. We'll keep going then. Yeah, certainly, Ross. Yep, certainly. Yeah, but if you go back like a few years and stuff like that, there's a lot of different water card variations and different, different, um, just, they did the energies a lot differently and stuff like that. So there's, there's a lot of options out there for what I'm trying to complete. Uh, Dunsparce, Kangaskhan, and the code. Yeah, it's fun, Ryan, it's fun. <laughs> Especially since now I've like, I've got like a bunch of different cards that I kind of toss in and out of my deck, but they're pretty much all still water cards, so I pretty much am all focused around water energy for the most part. Mandibuzz and Oracorio. So yeah, so now I'm trying to do something to, to make it more exciting. <laughs> Certainly. I've got a couple of vintage ones I found already from my own collection. Um, I've got a little bit of vintage stuff, so I found some vintage water energies already, which was cool. Um, sea Waddle and Electrode. And the, the coolest part about those those vintage water energies I found, um, some are from Jungle and some are from Neo Genesis, I think. Um, they were beat up, man. They were so beat up. <laughs> and I don't know why, but something about that, man, is just cool to me. They're, they got those that, that game-used feel to them. Game-used feel. It's, it's nice, man. I like it. Stantler, Gorbis. I don't know why, but something about that, man, makes it feel pretty cool. Good luck. Uh, first, or last one of the first half. Gonna be full art, Crabominable, not bad. Full art. Sick card, Michael. There you go, man. Very nice Crabominable V. And let's get right along to the second half here. Grab some water quick. Second half. Reverse Minoon, Palosant. Uh, Cook. It's also not very expensive at all, which is cool. You can get a lot of a project done with just like 20, 30 bucks. <laughs> 40 bucks maybe. If I want to pick up like a gold and stuff like that. The gold ones are a bit more expensive, but like mid-era stuff, not too hard to find. Or not too expensive yet. Star me hollow. It's just uh, energy cards at the end of the day. So I've also been upgrading my deck though with like a lot of full art trainers and stuff recently. Golden item cards. Got another couple of those coming in the mail. Um, full art Pokemon cards as well. Simisage and Blissey. It is fun to bling out the deck a little bit. Especially once you start to figure out like your core deck and stuff like that and you know the cards that you're always probably going to be using. It's nice to upgrade them and find some some sick looking copies of them. Uh, Senescorch. Phalanx. What we got, what we got, what we got. No way! Three rainbows in the box, or three secrets in the box. Shauna Rainbow Rare. Wow. Holy cow, that's three secrets. Two rainbow trainers and a golden energy card. Awesome box, Michael. Congrats, first look at the rainbow, Shauna. Very sick, man. Congratulations. That's awesome. We definitely have not had any with three secrets yet, so congrats. That's sick. 
Let's see if we can find an alt now to finish it, man. Oop, code card slipped there. Just the code card. Electros in the Steelix Hollow. There you go. Certainly, Ryan, yeah. I don't think they're going to, though. I don't think they're going to stop what they've been doing. Um, but I, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's really tough to say when, when companies do take a new direction like that. It's kind of unpredictable. Kind of just have to see what comes our way. Phalanx and Vikavolt. There's the Metapod. But yeah, yeah, good point, though, Ryan. I'm also very interested, man. I saw um, that Elf Investment video like an hour after it was posted. I uh, came up in my feed and I was like, oh boy, I gotta watch this. <laughs> I know he's gonna be mad. I know he's gonna be upset. Uh, reverse Carvana, Galarian Cursola. So yeah, we went to, my girlfriend and I went to a little hangout last night with uh, some of her friends that she's met down here. Um, so we were, we were on the way there and I was like, I gotta listen to this though, I'm sorry. <laughs> gotta figure out what's going on. This could be some big news here. And it was Growlithe and uh, Virzian. Our man it's him. Oh, that is sick, Flip. That's sick. Uh, nice reverse skaters park. Presence, uh, one of his favorite cards there. And the Serena V, nice. Very cool, Serena V. Red sleeve. Bucks are in a close one, but they are down to the Celtics right now. Dang it, man. Dang it, dang it, dang it, crocking all. Still got a chance though, down seven going into the fourth quarter, it looks like. It's not too bad, not too bad. Reverse Pansham, Kangaskhan. Look at me tough in the code. Versus Azumaro, Toxicroak. Skaters Park in the code. Uh, Tynamo and Chandelier VMAX. Not too bad. Nice to take any more hits out of this box, honestly. <laughs> After three secrets, we will take anything, man. Awesome Chandelier VMAX there for you, Michael. Congrats. Yeah, that's sick though, Flip. I'll have to try to find a replay of that. I'm sure there will be one. Uh, reverses Caterpie, as you Meryl. Crossover. And we got five more packs or so, I think. Ant Sage and Toxtricity Hollow. Oh, it's on Whatnot. Yeah, I don't think so then. I thought it was maybe on Instagram Live. That makes sense. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier a little bit, Ryan. Uh, thoughts on OBJ going to the Rams. Um, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it. Not a huge fan of it. I think it might actually hurt the Rams a little bit. Just not in terms of, like, talent, of course, but um, in terms of chemistry. I could I could see it impacting them for sure, Ryan. Golem, Zera Aura. Sean McVay, a pretty good coach, though, so he might be able to handle the situation well, and, and they might really succeed with him, of course, because that would be a third super, super serious option that the defenses would have to worry about then. But at the same time, man, I could I could see it kind of uh, ruining some of that chemistry in the locker room. Evie and Latios. I know that OBJ is not, uh, not too happy when he doesn't have those big games and stuff. And it's going to be tough for him to have the big ones with... Cooper Cup and Robert Woods are already getting a lot of the a lot of the targets, man. So we'll see. We'll see, though. I hope I'm wrong. I'd like to see him have a nice end to his career, I guess. Didrio V out of the last pack. There you go, Michael. Pretty solid boxes, man. Now, the first one wasn't anything crazy, but three secret rares in this one here definitely probably made up for it a bit, man. Appreciate it, Michael. Appreciate it, man. We'll get the cards protected. Sent right out to you. I hope you're having a good night. Appreciate it, Michael.